Advice is always a fun time. Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to the flashback. Well, I know all. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damned hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Altacala Bridge. That guy's got no fear. Didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder for me. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. One year up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! Did it though, but not a fan. But advice is a fun a setup. I don't like the name of that. A stadium, we're gonna have a, a fight? Lots of stadium, okay. That thought. Wait, I'm here already? You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. You got a story for everything, don't you, Phelps? Fix you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. Interesting. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Uh-oh. Did you get that free for madness? Let's get a ringside seat. Oh, free. <laughs> Holy cow. I got game destroyed. Yeah. Wait, is that Mickey Cohen? Give up? Oh. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. Wait, well who cares? God damn you, Alan, you get out here right now! Uh-oh. Step back, LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand oh. aside. He's not even in here. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on so this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. The answer is yes. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. All right. The 
there's a phone number we can run by R and I, plus a bunch of names and odds. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. Hmm. That's the only thing we're in here for is that. But we're all done here. It's all we needed here, thankfully. You better find that cocksucker and you bring him to me. I feel bad too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. Roy, you out of pocket too? Mickey, seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Oh, he's aware. Actually... I think you had the mixture pretty scared back there. <laughs> the mixter? Must be, uh, a fun time. Operator, message for KGPL. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? I need an address for the following phone number. AL345. The address for the phone number is... The Hotel El Mar, 6294 Leland Way, Hollywood. What? Thanks for your help. That's a weird phone number. You know the place? Flophouse. Quarter a night, no questions asked. Well, get us there. Let's find. Oh, wrong button. Let's find Mr. Heyman. You seem to have a pretty cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I note a hint of reprimand in your tone, Detective? Talking to gangsters comes with a turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. What the freak? Roy! See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. It's a front for his illegal activities. It is that. But he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. I mean, I don't think he has a choice, does he? I mean, I, w I would like new suits. If they were not... Hundreds of dollars. Cheap rates, hot water. I mean, what else could you want? Oh, good, sir. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, LAPD. We're making inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. Oh, oh great. It's one of these again. Who am I looking for this time? Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Surely Temple's a good pick. I mean, she went. But Orson Welles, I mean, these are all famous people. Glenn Ford. Broad has socks in it. You know, Marilyn Monroe, Bob Hope, B.B. and the Light, but Winston Churchill, that's a little bit different. Winston Churchill. I could save all year and not be a very patriotic guy. Englishman is staying in room 207. The old bulldog. Even at the flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Check the place if you want. All I do is keep my head down and replace the towels. All right. Peanuts are walking down the street. One was assaulted. Yeah, that joke makes me laugh every time. It makes me sad. Door is unlocked. All right. Looks Western like he's Union. had a broad up here. Ah, he was from Britain. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. That crooked son of a bitch. No chance. Be happy for once, Roy. Let's try to have some good news for once.
Does Albert have somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner of the fight. What's this? Take a stub? I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. That's hot. It's still warm. Huh. That makes things interesting. Instaheat. Adrian Black's product of choice. We just did port. Seems like a lifetime ago. Candy Antwerp. That's filled out. Huh. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Who's Candy? Candy Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. Hey, look, we have this note again. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. All right. All right. Let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. I like that idea. Hey, bud. All right. Let's go after Wait. his girl. Wait. You just that gets just said closer. that. I think his name is Felt. Yeah, I'm working that case. You can drive. Do we know where we're going? Well, we're going to the Candy Edwards place that you said twice. It's a weird bug or glitch or whatever. It's kind of different. So far, we do have all the clues, which is pretty abnormal. So, you boxed in I'm the good. Marines? We all did. Standard training. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push ups. Oh, freak. Screw that. Oh, great. It's another motel. Hmm. We need to know which room is Candy's. Don't need this? LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment 7. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. You friends of the Italian guy? Italian guy? Yeah. Sleazy type? Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. Mm. This Candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Uh, that kind of concerns me. If that's the case. Give it up, Sounds bitch. Like all he's gone and fucked both there, of us, Phelps. and you know where he's hiding. <laughs> oh, you done messed up, eh, Ron? Like hitting women, do you? <laughs> we had a goddamn. This isn't gonna end well for you, friend. <laughs> Counter strikes are always effective, like they are in boxing games. What's this? Out cold, but breathing. Give her a minute and take a look around. A one way. Single ticket. One way. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Well, that's a big ship. Iscania sails from New York. Ooh, a switchblade. Nasty weapon. All the Italians carry them. A real man uses his fists or a gun. Well, we got handed to a black book. Carlo here seems to have the same friends as Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Good chances there. All right, two more clues. Oh, that was right. Take a seat, Miss Edwards. We have some questions for you to answer. Look, I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. What? Well, Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. <laughs> 27 blonde. Whereabouts of Hammond? We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. You say that while looking away and still looking away. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight and you weren't there. What happened? You can't prove that I was in the room. 
Well, your magazine coupon that had your address name. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert was supposed to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of this. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride keep him warm at night. So you walked out before the fight? Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. But why? Do the names Harry, Mervyn, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? Again, you're not looking at me straight. Come on. They're bookmakers, aren't they? Tell me the truth. How the hell would I know? Well, you can either use two, either the bookmakers are odds, or the payouts here. Albert wrote his winnings down on a notepad in the hotel room. We found the odds in his locker. Who has the betting slips? That son of a bitch, Albert. Everyone thought he was dumb, including me. But he beat them all. You're leaving town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Again, you're not telling the soul truth. Albert is going home by boat as soon as he collects his winnings. I know you're going to meet him. Albert is going to collect nothing. He'll be lucky if he can get out of town in one piece. How will you fare any better? They already believe you're in on it. Hell, I know you're in on it. You can think what you want, Buster. I'll take my chances. I got a few errands to run, and then I say adios to this dump. Okay. Do you want to press charges against Arcaro? Just get him out of here. That's all I want. Get out, Carlo, you hump. And get rid of that pig sticker. If you ever pull that thing on me, I'll shoot you like a dog. That bitch knows where Hammond is. She knows where my money's gone. My money, too, tough guy. I'll handle oh, that's this. That's really so corrupt. Good luck, Miss Edwards. I hope things work out for you. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say so. Bad people are looking to hurt Candy, and yet she's not heading straight for the train station? I smell a payoff. I say stake her out. See where she goes. I like it. She's up to something. We're going for an achievement now. We haven't done an achievement. Okay, we said five last episode. That's not the point. You know this card gives zero... Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. All right. The achievement we are going for is the moose. Maniac. That's how you fail the mission. What the freak? I couldn't do anything. She had to leave her hotel room for like 20 hours? 16 hours, maybe? Tail is broad. Don't let her get away, but don't get spotted. I'll bring up the car behind you. So the goal is do not use cover or anything and get by. Alright. So we're going to let her move. Don't stay too far behind. We just use the camera as our advantage point. Third person games do have these advantages. Ooh. We're not taking cover at all because we need achievements. She's still trying to think we're here. All right, we're going to stay back and just follow her via the trees. Get some ground on us. That 
truck is very interesting. Move in. At risk losing the trail. Okay. Well, they did quite a bit there. Well, I see Roy's car. I see the car. Bye, Roy. Well, there she goes, just a walking down the street. Singing B and C over it. What the heck is the gimmick here? Like, how? Oh. Tree. All right, we gotta move for the camera to get the camera thing. Ooh. Are you really just leaving? Like. I mean, we're really close to her right now. Huh. Still, like, not constantly checking back. Okay. There we go. Thrift Licker. No. Roy casually driving. Bookmakers? Yes. Surprise, surprise. No! Well, oh, there it is. I was like, did I get the achievement? Maybe?